What is going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? Happy Monday and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your stimulus check update, stimulus package update, and news report for January 25th. Bernie Sanders says that Democrats do not need Republican support to approve a $2,000 stimulus check. An unprecedented moment in American history. You got the pandemic, you got an economic collapse, we got climate change, we got a crumbling infrastructure. And what we have got, we have millions of people working for starvation wages. And what we have got to do is roll up our sleeves. Remember guys, I'm still doing an Amazon gift card giveaway. Next Friday, I'll be announcing the winners of a $100 free Amazon gift card. If you'd like to enter the giveaway and win a free $100 Amazon gift card, then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and give this video a like. And leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts on a third stimulus check. I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. You guys are awesome, and I want to do my best in giving back to my community. So now let's get into the stimulus check information. The party has full control for Congress. Sanders argues that they can use a tool called reconciliation, which requires only a simple majority in the Senate to pass bills. Among the key measures, Sanders urges the Senate to pass $2,000 direct payments to Americans and raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. $100. We've got to do that. They understand that during the midst of the health care crisis, we cannot have millions of people being thrown out of their houses or lack health care. So we have an enormous amount of work. Then you throw in impeachment, you throw in the need to get Biden's uh, nominees confirmed. It's a lot of work that has to be done. And we're going to roll up our sleeves and do it. Well, I don't know what the word compromise means. I know that working families are in living today in more economic desperation than since the Great Depression. Everybody, tell me in the comments down below. What do you think of Bernie Sanders? Will he pass more stimulus relief? And will he unite both chambers in Congress? The Vermont Senator argued that Democrats should utilize the budget reconciliation process to pass a wave of big policies under the new Biden administration. Sanders wrote, the Senate 60 vote threshold to pass major legislation has become an excuse for inaction. But let's be clear, we have the tools to overcome, we have the tools to overcome these procedural hurdles. Now for, now, for those of you that didn't know, reconciliation allows the Senate to pass bills fairly quickly with a simple majority, as they're not subject to filibuster. Republicans have used the so-called reconciliation process before, like in 2017, to try to kill Obamacare. Um, you accused them of abusing the process back then. You said, quote, the function of reconciliation is to adjust federal spending and revenue, not to enact major changes in policy. But uh, you alluded to this. You are the chairman of the budget committee are going to be. You are already talking about using this tactic for things like paid family and medical leave. Sanders wrote, when the Republicans control the Senate during the George Bush and Trump presidencies, they use reconciliation to pass trillions of dollars in tax breaks for the wealthiest people and most profitable corporations. They also use reconciliation to try and repeal the Affordable Care Act in 2017. Today, Democrats must use the same process to lift Americans out of poverty, increase wages, and create good paying jobs. If Republicans would like to work with us, we should welcome them. But their support is not necessary. Now remember guys that Bernie Sanders was one of the few politicians in Congress pushing for additional stimulus checks of $2,000. So who knows, Bernie Sanders might be able to unite the Democrats and Republicans in passing bigger stimulus checks. Do you think that Bernie Sanders will be able to do it everybody? Tell me in the comments down below. But some modern Democrats such as Joe Manchin of West Virginia have refused to pass big stimulus payments. Retired workers will see a little more in their Social Security checks beginning next year. The government says recipients will get a 1.3% cost of living increase in 2021. Social Security Administration says that's about $20 more a month for the average retired worker, bringing their payments to $1,543. Biden, too, may be reluctant to approve bills only with Democratic support. Biden has repeatedly expressed his intentions to work across the aisle and come up with bipartisan agreements as president in order to fill his campaign and inaugurate our promises of unity. Some Republicans have also signaled that they are ready to put up a fight against big spending moves. Now Bernie Sanders also told reporters this, I know that working families are living today in more economic desperation since the Great Depression. If Republicans are willing to work with us to address that crisis, welcome, let's do it. Now according to the data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 
Payroll employment declined by 140,000 last month, with temporary layoffs increasing to, increasing to 3 million. Instead, the Democrats are balancing the urgency of pandemic relief measures. If you follow as head of household, the reductions begin at $112,500. Everybody tell me in the comments down below, are you ready to receive a third stimulus check of $1,400? Tell me your thoughts down in the comments. Now your 2019 tax return will be used to determine whether you're eligible for a stimulus payment. If you have not filed 2019 tax returns, your 2018 tax returns will be used. If you receive Social Security or SSDI payments, but did not file a tax return in 2018 or 19, you will also receive a stimulus check based on the information that was sent to the IRS. Now the IRS and Treasury Department started sending the second stimulus checks within a week of President Trump signing the second stimulus relief bill. They also stated on December 29th that if Congress passed a law that increased the stimulus amount, that the stimulus checks or the economic impact payments that have been issued will be topped up as quickly as possible. So folks, once our politicians in Congress approve a third stimulus check, we can expect to receive one very soon. It's not, it has to be paid back. And at some point, the uh, risk return ratio that people who are lending us money uh, are going to say is not sufficient uh, for the risk and we're going to demand a higher interest rate. That'll happen at some point. Interest rates will start to normalize and we have to refinance at a higher interest rate. And um, pretty soon the interest on the debt exceeds uh, what we spend on even national security for our country. Uh, Republicans traditionally have believed that we ought to reduce spending, we need to reform entitlement programs, uh, that we need to have policies in place that create greater growth in the economy, all of which make the debt look smaller by comparison. Democrats have argued we need more revenue, more taxes, and uh, Senator Crapo also already sort of got at that issue. But I just want to know what you think, because I know in the past you've expressed concerns about the debt and the deficit. Uh, the two previous administrations have not been very interested in entitlement reform. We have not only the debt that we're adding in the short term. In regards to unemployment benefits, well, Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced a proposal to boost partial unemployment benefits as part of the 2021 State of the State. The new plan will ensure unemployed New Yorkers who accept part-time work are not penalized while providing flexibility as businesses build back better. Partial unemployment Partial unemployment benefits will now be passed on actual hours worked rather than days worked. Since March 2020, New York State has distributed over $62 billion in unemployment benefits to 4 million new workers. And that is all the news in today's video, everybody. Hope you folks found this video useful, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notifications bell, and give this video a like. To everyone's amazing support, and remember that I'm still doing Amazon gift card giveaway. If you would like to win a $100 free Amazon gift card, then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell.